What's up guys, my name is Fredriksson and today we're gonna be talking about how you can do bass shake effect in Premiere Pro So before we get started, this is how it should look like in the end of the day The first thing you need is your footage your footage is of course the main thing that we need to do and first we need to go and find a place in the video or in the sequence where we want to do the bass shake effect so what I recommend doing is marking down with a marker deselect all of the clips and then you can put a marker down over there but now I'm gonna go where I want to put the effect so I'm going to find the hits uh, where the bass or the kick hits the hardest and I'm going to put some markers down so it's going to make us be able to edit it faster. Alright, now I've put the markers down. Didn't take too long, 30 seconds or so. You basically just need to make a new adjustment layer and you do that by going right here and right clicking and adjustment layer the only thing you need to worry about is if it's the uh, same width and height so aspect ratio is the same as the sequence settings premiere automatically does this process for you unless you have some weird stuff going on just look out for if if it's wrong in in the adjustment layer now the next thing is basically we just need to drag it over our clip i'm going to go to the first marker right here delete right here and then we are going to go over to our effects panel and type in directional blur we're just gonna plop it onto the adjustment layer now I like to just keep the direction as it is you can change the direction of the blur if it's going sideways downwards or, or left to right doesn't matter you kind of need to figure that out for yourself what what you think looks good but straight out of the box it goes down down and up so uh, I think that's fine I usually like to work on this space between uh, not above 50 but in the blur length but like around maybe 15 to 50 so if you see how fi 50 is we, we are just going to stick with that uh, the next thing is just go frame by frame and cut out a couple of frames Now I like to have it three, so you'll see how the effects look with three adjustment layers or th three kind of bumps with the bass. We actually could do two. Yeah, I think two is better for this one. Then all you need to do is basically just copy and paste this effect around the board so what I'm going to do here because we have another one over here we might have to take one out and take this one out yeah and that's it 